YouTube family, what up? Devin on deck back again with another Instagram tips video for you. And today I'm teaching you something that isn't really new to the gram. However, I've been getting a lot of DMs over this last week about this exact edit. I'm not sure what's going on on the internet right now, but for some reason y'all wanna know, so I'ma teach you. Now I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but there's a way that you can edit your content so when you use the swipe right function and go nice and slow, you'll see that it looks like it's just one infinite continuous photo. It's a really cool edit and actually something that's pretty easy to do, and I'ma teach you exactly how to make that happen right after this intro. Um, Welcome back to Devin on Tech, where I give you how-tos and creative talk. Now, what you're about to learn today is exactly how to make those infinite scrolling posts on Instagram. But first, if you haven't subbed to my channel yet, I would greatly appreciate it. If it's your first time here, my name is Devin on Deck, as I said before, and I got my start on the gram, my friend. I'm the fashion guy who makes anime-inspired video content, and that's exactly where this part of my channel was born. So here on Devin on Tech, I teach you exactly how to make the dope content and how to be better on social media. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button. And if you have already subbed to my channel, press that bell icon, you get a notification every time I drop a video. Okay, so first things first, make sure you already have in your mind what kind of photo you wanna put up. Is it gonna be a horizontal photo, just like one? Or you wanna make maybe a collage and cut them into a couple pieces and have those be seamless. Either way, figure it out, pre-edit that content, put it to the side, okay? Now this is probably the only time in history I will ever say it's okay to post horizontally on Instagram. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I always recommend never to do that because it kills your likes, kills your comments. If you wanna know why that is, I'm gonna have a little card slide out right here for you. Go ahead and tap it. It'll put you on game on how to make your Instagram better, boost your engagement, make yourself more followable, all that good stuff. But anyway, we're doing an edit today on Photoshop as usual. It's a really simple edit. It should take like three to five minutes for you to do. So uh, yeah, let's make it happen. Okay, so when you open Photoshop, you wanna start a new document and let's name this Seamless, just for continuity, okay? Boom, Seamless. And then we're going to set the ratio eight by 10, right? We know that's usually the size we use. However, since it's gonna be two pictures, we're gonna make it double the width of what it normally would be. So 16 by 10, everything else looks about right. Match these, please, and then press Create. Now you have a blank document. What I usually do to find the middle, I'll take this background, I right click it, I'll duplicate the layer, okay? Let's call this divider. Then you wanna hit the G key, take the paint bucket tool and just change this to any other color than white. I just dumped black on there so now this whole layer called divider is black. Now we're gonna take that same layer, make it 50% in width, press enter, take this bad Charlie all the way to the left so the next thing you wanna do is create a new guide. And the way you do that is press Command R, and from that you're gonna bring up the ruler, okay? And if you grab it from the ruler from the left side and drag it over, and do it one more time, hold down, click, and drag, you see this line that you just produced. Make sure that line snaps. You wanna bring it over. Hold on, it's being weird. What are you doing? Boom, right there. There it is. And if you can't grab it for some reason, make sure you are on this right here, okay? The Move tool. You wanna be making sure your mouse is doing that because if you are still stuck on the paint bucket, it won't let you grab it. Okay, so move tool, there you go. So here, boom, snap it to the middle, there you go. And now you can delete the divider tool because that's all you need it for. So you come over to your photo, copy it, paste it in there, make sure that bad boy fits. Yep, works for me. And then, in order to export this into two photos, press C for the crop tool or just click it over here. Slide that bad boy to the middle. Uh, press enter on your keyboard. And now you have the first image. Save that as itself. Take a step back, Command Z, and do the same thing here. So you wanna hit, use the crop tool of course. Again, take it to the right side this time. Press enter on your keyboard and then save that one. So basically what you'll have is two photos that are saved that are now divided perfectly into the middle. So when you post them, they'll be butted up against each other and basically you'll have to swipe right. Now, if you need to do a gallery or some type of collage, we're gonna delete that and use a collage. So take this picture now, copy, paste it over in the seamless and then 
let's say I wanted to be like, I don't know, this to be here. I'm just doing random stuff right now. So that's one, cool. And then we're gonna take this picture of me sitting down with the shoes. Boom, paste that as well. Let's put this one up here. All right, that's a gallery situation. And then we're gonna do one more of me standing. Bam, so now you have a gallery and you're gonna literally do the exact same thing that I did before. Hit C on your keyboard, throw this bad boy to the left, boom. Save it, step back, do the same thing again, come to the right, boom, enter, save this. Okay, now say you had a video in here and you want to incorporate a video in one of these type of posts, all you gotta do is go file, export, and render video like you normally would, like you've seen in my other video posts. Nothing's different, exact same cropping process, exact same file setup, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you need directions on exactly how to post this the right way, and how to do a multi-post in Instagram, if it's your first time ever hearing about this, then I'll go ahead and put that in the description for you. Click that link, it's an actual link to directions on exactly how to make this post happen, and there you go, that's all you need. If you made it this far, that means you have now acquired the skill to create infinite swiping posts on Instagram. Now, if you enjoyed this video or learned anything, please give me a thumbs up. The more thumbs up you give me, the higher the videos rank, the more folks that get to learn exactly what you just learned today. Team on deck, you already know what time it is. I know the last editing tutorial was a lot more advanced, but this one's really easy. So I expect a lot of y'all to submit. I wanna see you be creative with this, take it to a different level, maybe incorporate some video. I haven't tried that yet, so that could be cool. If you have any questions, any feedback, leave them in the comments, I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make that happen. I appreciate your time as always, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.